This is Kelly Berger from Bookkeeper's Support and this is a quick tutorial on how to do a bank reconciliation in Xero. You've got your dashboard here with all of your unreconciled items. So applying all of these items will obviously go into your bank account but we're not going to worry about that for, for, them, for this purpose. We're going to go to our reconciliation report. Okay, this is how you do a bank rec. Now, we know that all these transactions are outstanding in the bank feed, so we're going to go back to a time where everything has been allocated. So we're going to go back to the 31st of January. So what should happen is your balance in zero and your statement balance should match exactly. And then you publish the report, and sometimes you can export it as a PDF or print it if you like just so that you've got a snapshot of where it's at. So if we go forward to February, where we know that the transactions haven't all been allocated, we can see there that we've got quite a lot that needs to be allocated. So our balance, our statement balance, and our balance in zero don't match. And there's a whole heap of transactions that need to be allocated. So you can't reconcile without allocating all of those transactions. Now, if you're wanting to reconcile one bank account, one specific bank account, you go to your reports, sorry, not one bank account, one account such as PAYG or superannuation, you go to your account transactions, you find that account, in this case, we're going to go to the PAYG, right, and we want to see what's going on for this month, right, our current liability, our closing balance is 10074 if that is correct, then perfect, uh, then you don't need to worry about anything in here. But if you're completely up to date and you've got all of your PAYG up to date to this, this date, to the 31st of March, then that balance should be zero as it would be on your balance sheet. So this is how you reconcile uh, the, any other account that you need to reconcile, especially at end of financial year and end of quarter. And that's how you do a basic bank rec in zero. Thank you and have an awesome day.